all right a little babbling brook over there so I had to torch up my one and only cigar I gotta buy some more mm. one thing I liked about always before in part videos is going to St. Martin and also if you ever go to um, lovely and talented Puerto Rico they got people rolling right there a lot of them have little shops inside of dress shops there's a lady at uh, I never seen her but the hunch Donald J bought the the uh, golf course in say Colorado Florida what is it called there's a lady from Cuba that's uh, rolling them all the time he bought before the president one time was out of bankruptcy you can see it's just like it's gorgeous down here Hi, ladies. Um, like agility. Oh. I don't remember the golf course now. It's in Florida. He bought it out of bankruptcy. But it was really it's a nice golf course. So, but this goes back a long ways. Not an overly big cigar smoker, but I've had Cuban cigars people brought home. For me, whenever you go over to uh, St. Martin, you know, we're Caribbean, they claim they are. I mean, they're nice anyways. You get some real big fat ones. You can get some big joints like this too as well. What the hell is that place called now? Not Mar-a-Lago. Mar I know it's called now, but he bought out of bankruptcy. A couple of people I know from Oak Ridge when I carried there. I went there. And there's a lady between the ninth hole rolling cigars. But when you go to Puerto Rico, that's what they do, they're rolling them for you. Oh yeah. So at the desert with snow. I was on a well, I was on Corey Adam's show. This idiot, dumbass white boy, was bitching that certain people should be able to vote. Like, how do you decide who can and cannot vote? I mean, look at there are people out there in the far right that think JFK Jr. is still alive and was going to meet up with the hunch. I mean, yeah, both sides of the aisle are a bunch of idiots, but I'm like, come on. How do you do that? I mean, get out and vote. I like mailing in my vote. Hand counting is going to take too long. It's not that tough, but when you have well, both sides of the aisle that get brainwashed, can't think of themselves, you know, the way it works, especially if I'm a Democrat and I'm living on welfare, I'm gonna put people in that keep me happy, I get. But. Yeah, in the, next, in, in the summertime, I might come down here when I can, uh, you can see a little, I've been, I didn't go back this far last time, so, so, could be one guy was trying to tell me that only somebody can vote, so is that why the guys gave their life in World War II? the beaches right I'm like come on you know it's from white cloud Minnesota you know farm boys that only read what they want to read Newsmax and yeah I read the papers every day all three of them Sarge so Bune pioneer in USA Today and sometime Wall Street and I can make my own decision so I listen to brainwashing right You can see over here, kind of see how this is an old growth forest back in here, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, you come back on your with your bike here. So your mom, your mom drops you off and your buddies, because this goes all the way out to Egan. It can, it goes that way. So I could have her drop me off at that trailhead and walk from this area up there if I wanted to on some summer. Maybe we'll see what happens. I did see a place. Hopefully, I get that later on for you guys over in Chanhass. I was, uh, I went out to Highway Seven and I went out. You go. Th to, to avoid all the BS, you go out 212 and you scoot across, and there was that really cool place in Chanhassen that had a big long bridge or something, a little park. So I'm gonna check that out. So, and that one park I want to go tomorrow. I've been there before in the summertime. Go, cool, it looks like in the wintertime. I think it's kind of cool to give people an idea of what we have here in Minnesota. It's not this barren ground of ice and snow like Alaska at time I get, but there are other things to see here. A nice day. So. That's just kind of cool. It looks like, almost looks like you could just go out there and build a house, but <laughs> you could, but it'd flood over real quick. So, yeah, it's slippery. You gotta be very careful. Yeah, I've been taking a lot of pictures. I've got about I took I took about 300 pictures, also the DJI of some stuff that I'll put on my calendar. So I'm I'm separating the ones I like, getting ones I don't like. And then I'm I'm slowly making my my uh, my 2024 calendar. So that's the beauty of this camera. People go, oh, you you take great pictures. No, I don't. This camera does. You know, just you got to figure out a place for a good shot. I think it's great to be a photographer. There was a guy I picked up. He uh, gave me a link to his website. It's just some beautiful pictures in Alaska. He sells them. Oh my goodness, it was gorgeous. So, all right, good for him. What? Oh, got some dog paws down here. Yeah, come down with your dogs. I can't feel any wind down here. Walk up that fence and I'll turn around. I said, we'll come down here in the summertime. I might do a, a full video of the Shady Oak Park that goes all the way from like Donomick all the way up. And I still want to do some rail fanning someday with my, you know, with my uh, um, phone. That one guy I like, Danny guy, he's really good, real guy, he's really good. He does a lot of work on his stuff, very thorough. I mean, I can show you a train, but I have no idea what the hell I'm looking at, where it's going. He knows where it's going, where it's carrying. It's very, that's why he's fun. He's really good. I follow him. Distant signal. Again, check him out. He's very good. He's well known. If I was going to have my, my train museum restaurant, he'd be my guy. There's a lot of rail flying guys. Some guys just will have it with no, uh, nothing. It's still fun. I want to know where the hell the train is, what I'm looking at. It's fun. So, uh, there was one guy, he was like, he was like 22 and he had, he had had a channel when he was 16 and he did a lot of the uh, small little train stuff. He, I saw one of his old videos and he had the train look like he was a real train. <laughs> it derailed. It was hilarious how he did it. So, he, he was like 23 and he was explaining why he's not putting a lot of videos up because he's 23 and he's going to school to be a doctor so he was it was really cool some of his model train videos he was cool i love model train i love a model train i had them when i was young I, there was i've seen the, you get the video a long time ago model train museum i want to go to one in uh the ohio north of columbus i saw a video on that check that out the largest family-owned model train museum that's a cool place 
want to go there like I said flying Ohio and I told that to uh, wandering gypsy and I told that to carpet and we spawned back that town there in uh, Virginia what the hell that town is called again but before that's a cool town to go to so I do like a, a whole trip I want to take I'd love to take a whole week off just drive through Minnesota and Wisconsin and videotape a bunch of cool stuff whatever I come across and stay in a motel hotel whatever and you know but this camera and DJI and that's all I really need go go slow stuff so coming up here you guys we'll end the we'll end the, this excursion doing this way here Blowing through, baby. Yep. Bird in the snow as it is. See, I was under that bridge over there a long, long time ago. Blows over. So, anyways, guys. See you the next one, okay? See you guys all later.